Hey, it's Josh here, and I'm really excited to show you inside our brand new 3.0 release. So as you'll notice, we've got a new interface and you can go ahead and access some templates directly on the home screen over here. Your recent projects will show up over here. Um, you can also access a Lightning Builder and create a new project over here as well. Now with, the, with your current projects from Create Studio Pro, you can also open those up inside Create Studio 3.0. And if we go over to the settings over here, you can migrate your current settings from Create Studio Pro. So all your scenes, your global media files, custom fonts can be directly migrated into Create Studio 3.0 by simply exporting them and then importing them over here. So we've also got a brand new template library you can see over here. Um, you can go obviously one by one or go into the entire category and have a look at your templates. Um, you, for example, if you like this one, you can adjust the ratio and then basically go into it like so. All right, so let's go into the editor. And as you'll notice, we've got a brand new UI. Uh, we've got a few different layouts as well. So over on the right, top corner you have to see you've got this interface layer option and this is the minimal UI and this is great if you have a small screen you've got just a left panel um, you can go with also the left bar one and we've also got a left and right panel one as well so if I just fit the canvas and down here you also notice we've got this full width timeline so this UI now looks basically like create studio pro we wanted to have the same kind of design so that those who are familiar with Create Studio Pro um, you can basically jump into Create Studio 3.0 and feel like it's the same. Um, you can also go ahead and adjust the panels like so. You can drag the right panel bigger depending on your screen size and what I, I'm going to do is just go ahead with the minimal one and I'm going to make my timeline full height over here and this is great when you're dragging the elements directly um, onto your canvas and now also your timeline. So before you could only drag elements over onto the canvas, but now you can go ahead and place it anywhere you want on the timeline uh, to really save you a lot of time. And I'm gonna go into the backgrounds. Let's go ahead and grab a nice background. So maybe this, I'm gonna go with this Lamborghini one. So let's just place it down there and just drag it over. Okay, cool. One thing you also notice is that with the scaling, so if I just adjust this color, when you scale objects, it actually scales now from the center. And when you start using this, you'll really see the uh, impact it has. Um, you can also hold down either the Alt key or the uh, the Option key on your keyboard, and that will scale from the corner. Um, but yeah, right now it just scales from the center, and it's, it's a lot more user friendly. Okay. One other thing as well that you want to notice um, on the Resolutions tab, we've also got a Portrait Resolution, and whenever you select a resolution we've also got some presets for you so for example if you want to make a video for YouTube we've got the exact presets for 2k 4k um, for example if you're making a Facebook ad we've got also these um, different presets depending on the ad type you're about to see the ratios and the actual resolutions okay so let's go back over to standard and then go ahead and make it full HD and let's go back over here so one of the major updates we've added in is the 3D character creator and you're about to see when I just drag this onto the timeline. Um, we've currently just got one character but we're going to be adding in loads more characters over the next coming weeks and months. Um, let me just zoom this one up so you can see. So this is our Tom character and over on the customize tab you're about to see now you can go ahead and change the clothing really quickly and easily. And what's really cool is that you can adjust the logo on the t-shirt. So this is great for your own branding. And if you create videos for clients, um, you know, you'll be able to go ahead and add their logo as well and create super branded videos. So for example, Nike like this. Cool. So you can add a different top. You can change the trousers. You can add hats and things like that. So you can go ahead and have fun mixing and matching different props. Um, you can go ahead and change the hairstyle. If I just remove that here and maybe make him like this, you've got different styles, something like that. We've also got glasses. And we've got facial hair. So you may want a Spanish one or like a big mustache. 
And as you can see, you can really start changing around the appearance of your character. Now what I'm actually going to do, I might go and make him like this. I'm going to change his hairstyle, maybe add some dreadlocks. And and what I'm going to also do is go ahead and change the color of the character. So I can go ahead and change the skin color. So I'm going to make him slightly darker. And I'll make the hair darker as well. And that's looking pretty cool. I can also change the eye color. And what you can also do is adjust the lighting on the character and on the scene. So we've got the frontal lighting. So you can just basically really bump that up. And depending on the scene that you have, maybe it's a night scene and you want some ambient lighting. Um, maybe it, like if, if it's like a sunset kind of feel, you can go ahead and change the color slightly and then bump that up as well. Um, but usually white looks the best and you can go ahead and play around you know, with that depending on the scene. So you can also go ahead and rotate your character. So just double click, rotate like so. And you can also create rotation animations. I can reset the view. You can add a character uh, view animation. So if I select this, go to character view, and then what I can do is rotate him. So let's say he rotates around like this. You're about to see we've got this animation, which is super cool. So I'll just quickly delete that. Let's just go to here, and I'm gonna reset the view like so. Um, you can also adjust obviously the character actions and you can also um, select different actions and lip sync your character as well. So let's say we want to go ahead and go to wave. So now he's waving and I want to add also a voiceover. Now one of the things we've also built into Create Studio 3.0 is brand new AI text to speech and this is super realistic and I'll just show you some examples. So what we could do, uh, let's go ahead with Lovell, quite like this Australian guy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say hey um, Tom, one of the amazing Okay, like that. Cool, so I've got my text. I'm gonna go ahead and generate the speech. And I can go ahead and preview it. Hey, I'm Tom, one of the amazing 3D characters in Create Studio. And how, that's just, yeah, amazingly realistic. You can also adjust the stability. Um, so depending on the, the voice you create, maybe if it sounds a little bit robotic, you might wanna just bring it back down over here. But it, to be honest, it sounds like really realistic as, as you've got to hear. I'm gonna generate this one more time. Okay, so I'm just going to import that. So I'm going to now drag this over here. Hey, I'm Tom, one of the amazing 3D characters in Create Studio. Okay, cool. So I've got my action. I'm going to go ahead and add a secondary action so that it goes the same length. And maybe I'm going to go ahead with a thumbs up. And what I can do now is simply right click on my voiceover, make sure that it's in the same line as the character. So if it's over here, you won't be able to sync it. Um, and you won't see the option, but if you go ahead and place it uh, where the character is in line with the character You can right click on it sync with Tom and now you'll be able to see that his mouth starts speaking out your voiceover Hey, I'm Tom one of the amazing 3d characters in create studio So that's a super cool and easy to use feature and you can have multiple voiceovers So if you had another track you can edit here and right click on it and sync it with your character um, and yeah, we've also got another feature over here on the timeline. You'll be able to go ahead and adjust the track height. So if you want it to be smaller, you can go ahead like so and make it really small like this. Um, you can go ahead and do that as well. If you've got tons of like elements, um, then it, this is a great way to basically minimize your timeline. Now I'm going to go back and make it large. Large is the best if you're going to be doing animating um, because you've got two rows basically for your keyframes. If it's on a small Let's go ahead and just add a keyframe, for example, like position. If it's on a small track size, you have to see, you have to go ahead and click over here to be able to access the keyframes. So when you are animating, it's optimal to go ahead and make it a large track size, okay? Also, we have the option to automatically compact the tracks. So if you turn that on, and let's say we go ahead and add a bunch of elements. If we go ahead and delete a layer now, it automatically 
deletes the track if there's nothing on that actual track so it helps you to compact your timeline and keep everything nice and tidy now with the scenes over here as well you can go ahead and get scenes like this for example and let's say we want to go grab one of these scenes and I can go ahead and maybe download it edit over here I might also want to add let's say I download this one here and then I'll add that scene you can add multiple scenes and what happens now instead of them being all added onto your timeline it gets added onto this little widget and now you can go ahead and just drag it where you want it to be on your timeline like so um, we can go over here let's say I want to add another one over here oh, whoops like this and I'll just drag it over like so okay so it's as simple as that I'll just bring this one down you can see how easy it is to now go ahead and use those as well um, and yeah this those are some of the main features inside create studio 3.0 uh, make sure to go ahead and download it uh, give it a try you can also in the minimal view go ahead and add text like just dragging and dropping it also like on here from here um, so yeah I hope you enjoy these new updates we're going to be adding loads more updates as well in the coming weeks and months new features um, and also new 3d characters uh, that you'll be able to go ahead and access over here so have a great day and as always have fun creating Thank <laughs> you.